Quack Quiz. Proudly brought to you by Discam. Pharmacists to care. From age spots to stretch marks and everything else in between, our skin has it all. It's the largest organ in the body, so there's obviously a lot to say about it. We're just going to scratch the surface today with these skin tingling questions and we have the best person for it. Rafael Amorosile, also known as Vanilla Black, South Africa's first working albino model. Where does the name Vanilla Black come from? <laughs> Firstly, white on the outside, but a black person, okay? okay? And at the same time, people don't know that the vanilla seed is originally black in formation. So once it's been processed, it's actually white. That's right. You, you know, think that's what white people when you see. Think vanilla. No. When you think vanilla, you think white, but the reality is that it's actually a black seed. So hence, the black girl in the white skin. That is such a cool name. I love that explanation. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank now, you very much. Listen, you've, you've said some amazing things, mm -hmm. uh, and one of them was to say, I've had to have a really thick skin yeah. to go down this modeling career as an albino model. Tell me about that journey. Obviously, there's um, the misconception that a person of albinism does not uh, enter the modeling industry. Yeah. You know, the, the norms that are set, set by European uh, European standards that say that you need to be a specific height, you need to look in a specific way and so forth. And I think what's happened is that I've taken the stance to just defy all of that and basically do me and say, you know, let's redefine what's always been said there to something that is uh, phenomenally new. I'm not trying to change the industry, but introduce something that has not actually been thought of. So thick skin is just taking that initiative to break the bounds and say, this is how we can redefine beauty. That is brilliant. Start a revolution. I love it. Of course. It. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Wonderful. I mean, yeah. I, you know, to kind of go from that into the quack quiz, I'm thinking, wow, you know, I want to know more, and I'm sure we can at a later stage. But right now, I suggest you guys do the quack quiz on that app and see if you can score better than Rafil where mm. on skin. I mean, I'm sure she knows more than anyone else does on the subject. So here goes. Are you ready? Ten questions. Yes. Knock this out the park. Okay. <laughs> what good. makes up the bulk of your skin now that you've warmed up, Rafil? Mm. Collagen or water? Collagen. Oh, she says it like she knows it. Because the body is 80% of, of water, so collagen is what makes up the skin. You're so right. And that's what keeps you young, huh? Eh? Of course. Ah, collagen is fantastic. What's the best way to refresh your skin and clean out your pores? Is it a long and steamy shower or a warmish splash in and out? Warmish splash in and out. And I'll tell you why I think that is. Long showers tend to actually dry out your skin, if I'm not yes. wrong. <laughs> you, yeah. And you're so right. Long steamy showers? kind of remove those essential oils yes. in your skin. So, 100% so far, true or false, don't put anything on your skin. If you have eczema, you'll only make the itching worse. True you or false? need to put something on eczema because it's dry skin. So in order for you to alleviate that dry skin or make it better, you need to moisturize it. Right again. <laughs> I wouldn't use soap if I had eczema, but you can use all sorts yes. of emollients. And I mean, I would speak to your pharmacist, they'd know exactly what to put on that skin. So. Yeah. Well done. What percentage of people get acne at one point or another? 85% or 25%? Come on, 85%. We all go through acne. <laughs> we do. I grew up with acne all over my nose, man. I, I did just too. It was so it. bad. Yeah, crazy. Huh? Yeah. How do antihistamines soothe itchy skin? Now, this is a kind of a medical question, so I want to see how you do here. So, antihistamines, do they stop inflammation or do they block a chemical reaction? Okay. I think they block a chemical reaction because uh, antihistamines, I think it's it's like um, antihistamines stop an allergic reaction, if I'm not wrong, and a reaction usually is because of chemicals inside your body that might not agree. Is that not so? I think you have as many brains as you do beauty stars. <laughs> That's just amazing. Yes, moving right I was along then. You know. <laughs> okay, here's a tricky one. It's also relating to skin, but there yeah. you go. Ringworm is what? A fungal infection or a cousin of a tapeworm? As far as I know, it's a, it's a fungal infection. <laughs> yes, it is. All right, another one. 100% so far. This is fantastic. You are heading yeah. for a million rand fine, <laughs> but you know that, hey? So besides environmental factors, what else could cause dry skin? Mm. Medications or washing powders? <sighs> Trick question. You know what? I would say both, but if I had to go with more of it, it would be medication because I know from... Um, a drug I used to use, which was Rakuten, which is dry yes, skin. Yes, you're so right. Rakuten, diuretics, brilliant. <laughs> I'm so impressed. You sure you're not medical? Uh, maybe I should have been. Uh, yeah, hidden degree there somewhere. That's fantastic, Rafael. All maybe right. Maybe I should have been. The first line of defense against wrinkles is what? A good chemical peel or sunscreen? Sunscreen. 
How much sunscreen do you use? Because you're right. You know obviously. what? I, I have to use a lot uh, of the highest SPF. It's something that I've always done from a very young age. That, so it's, it's a part of my life that I have to do. Then they always say that sunscreen is actually the best remedy for a lot of things. Yeah, and it certainly is. Yes. You got that right again. Great for wrinkles. What is a good substitute if skin cream is not available? Hair conditioner or cooking oil? Sure. This one was a bit tough, but I once heard a theory that it could be cooking oil. <laughs> Really? Olive oil. Really? Yes. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> but I'm going to have to toughen up these questions next time we have another show. <laughs> no, oh. they're not the same for everybody. They're people who don't open their minds to actually learning certain things. And I've had to because of having a different skin. Sure. Yeah. Well, I'm so impressed because you're right. I mean, believe it or not, if, if your skin cream or lotions are not available to you, cooking oils can work just as well as commercial moisturizers. Not only are they virtually scentless, but they're less expensive readily available and they're ultra moisturizing. So the final question for 100% is, the best way to treat dry skin is to what? Avoid scented soaps or cover up your skin as much as possible? I think it's scented soaps, yes, because if you had to, you're in the sun all the time, so you're not always guaranteed that, you know, <laughs> That you'll be okay and you wash your soap every day so this one is logic imagine, basically imagine for a moment some gun has gone off and and sprinklers are coming down and glittery stuff it's like she's won the prize Where's my money? a million rand if you can keep can working really money? hard and <laughs> well we're going to go to commercial break quickly while we sort out this issue here about the finances but <laughs> we're feeling well done that is superb man thank vanilla you. black thanks for being on the show thank you and thank you for your insights and your transparency and honesty it's been thank great you. Awesome. Guys, well now you have your chance to quiz our doctors on any health related matter. So get to the Hello Doctor app, go onto the TV show and text our doctors right now and ask them anything. It won't cost you a cent. The Quack Quiz, proudly brought to you by Discam, pharmacist who care.